Hi there, I'm Gillian Armstrong and I'm a Solutions Architect at AWS and today we're going to be talking about enabling dialog code hooks in Amazon Lex V2. Dialog code hooks are a way of putting in a connection to a Lambda function within your bot. There can be multiple of these within each intent and they're called during the back and forth of a conversation within an intent, unlike the fulfillment code hook which is only called at the end and of which there is only one per intent. The fulfillment code hook is covered in another video, so we'll just be looking at dialog code hooks today. There are two flavors of dialog code hooks, standard and elicitation. And each intent in your bot is made up of a series of conversation steps. The standard dialog code hook is called between steps to do things like validation. It runs as an independent step of the conversation flow and it can be put between any two steps in the conversation up to fulfillment. This is most commonly a validation code hook. It's things like validating your slot input or checking confidence scores for intents or transcription or adding an additional information into the session or even changing the flow of the conversation partway through. The elicitation dialogue code hook is called within a conversation step. And it lets us handle things when we aren't understanding what the user said in a more sophisticated way than just saying what. The only steps it can run in are the get slot value or confirmation steps. And it captures each thing the user says, not just the final value. And it's most often used for adjusting responses depending on the number of times it isn't capturing a correct response or checking transcriptions to make sure it's heard right or handling special cases for slot capture. And we'll look at those in some future videos. To use either of these, you will need the intent level dialogue code hook option to be enabled. And in the API, it's at the top level of the create or update intent like this, the dialogue code hook. In the console, it's at the bottom of the intent in the code hooks box on the editor view. And in the visual builder, you'll find that same option in the start box. Think of it as a circuit breaker for your dialog code hooks. Like the fuse box in your house, if it's tripped or off, you can turn the switches on your lights on and off, but no lights will come on. But if it's on, if it's in ready state, you can turn your lights on, but you could also choose to keep them off. The code hooks can be turned on at a granular level, but if the switch is off, they will not invoke a Lambda function, even if they are individually enabled. Let's look at a few specific examples of a dialog code hook. First, let's look at slot validation. This is a standard code hook and it can be most easily seen in the visual builder. And you can see that it is its own step in the conversation, but it will not be called until you exit the slot capture step before it. Let me show you this same code hook in the editor view. You'll see it's under advanced options. The next step will need to be set to invoke dialog code hook and you'll need to make it active and then choose invoke Lambda function. To set the invocation label, you're gonna go into advanced options. Here you'll also see the details of the pass out of that dialog code hook. You can choose what you want to happen next, depending on whether your Lambda function succeeds, fails or times out. In the API, You'll find the setting in the create or update slot under slot capture settings. Your code hook, setting is active, setting enable, and setting your invocation label. Be very careful that you have both active and enabled set, as well as that intent level enablement option. Only then will the Lambda function be invoked. When active is set and either of the enablement switches are turned off, then a successful call to the Lambda function will be simulated. So you can see it traveled down the success path, but there will not have been an actual Lambda invocation. So as we've covered, this code hook will only be called once the slot capture step is complete. But what if we want to see what's going on inside there? Well, here is where elicitation dialogue code hook comes into play. This isn't its own step. Here it runs inside the slot capture step at each elicitation or prompt. So you'll find it in the slot prompt settings. And here is the setting in the visual builder. And here it is in the editor under advanced options in the slot prompts editor. 
And in the API, you'll find it inside the slot capture settings object too, but this time as an elicitation code hook. This captures every single back and forth or elicitation within that step. So for this conversation, where the bot prompts for the time, the user says, what? The bot prompts a second time because that's not a valid time. And then the user gives a valid time. Both what and 4 p.m. will be captured through the elicitation code hook, but only 4 p.m. will be captured through the standard code hook. Both will be shown in the event into your Lambda as an invocation source of dialog code hook. And that's why setting your invocation label is so important, as it will let you see the specific place the call came from. You can control where dialog code hooks are put to a pretty fine grained level, but there are some rules. You can't have more than one code hook block off a conversation step. And that includes off the step of a code hook. And note that conditions are a path and not a step themselves. And they cannot go after fulfillment. Also remember that all of these code hooks are going to go to the same Lambda function. You can only control when it is called. You can't have calls to different Lambda functions from different code hooks or different intents in the one instance of a bot. Remember, each code hook gives you the opportunity to dynamically rewrite the flow of the conversation by modifying the session or the next step. So you could pre-populate other slots or even jump to a different intent. And we'll look at some of the specific scenarios for doing this in a future video. For now, have fun experimenting with dialogue code hooks. Thanks for listening and check out the other videos on our channel.